Hello, I'm Lloyd Jenkins. I'm the founder of the Budwig Center. And you know, I visited Dr. Joanna Budwig in the year 2000. I got all her notes. And today, I'd like to share with you the basic Budwig protocol. Something Dr. Joanna Budwig noticed about her cancer patients is that the blood cells were like stacked, they were clumped together. Uh, this aggregation, she noticed, was very serious because there was no oxygen, the hemoglobin was low. And so she tried to figure out how could she make the blood flow freely. And she realized there was a shortage of omega-3. And another thing she noticed is that these people were not eating the right foods. So she tried to find a solution to increase the omega-3, increase the hemoglobin and the oxygen of the blood. Dr. Joanna Budwig spent a lot of research trying to find a solution to the clumping together of the blood. And uh, she said that our blood cells are much like a battery. You have a negative and a positive charge. And the regular consumption of deep fried oils, such as you know fried chicken, potato chips, and so on, these are destroying the electrical charge of the cell. Now, essential fatty acids, as is found in flaxseed oil, this gives a negative electrical charge. And then the cottage cheese gives a positive uh, electrical charge. When you put those two together, that was her eureka moment. That's when the blood started to turn red and this greenish kind of tinge that the blood had before disappeared. The electrical charge, the proper electrical charge of the cells was restored and the body was flooded with healing oxygen. A lot of websites have shown the Budwig mixture using kefir and yogurt. But let me warn you that Dr. Joanna Budwig never sanctioned the use of kefir or yogurt in her mixture. And also I get asked a lot, well, where are the clinical studies to prove that flaxseed and so on is helpful in healing cancer? Well, there's a lot of clinical studies. So let me just mention a couple. Flaxseeds uh, had decreased lymph node metastasis by up to 33%, from 89 down to 33%. Lung tumors in one clinical study reduced 82%. Uh, These are impressive clinical studies. They also found that women who ate a lot of flax seeds reduced their chance of getting breast cancer by 62% compared to women who had no flax seed in their diet. Also, flax seed is very effective in dealing with estrogen and progesterone issues. A lot of women have hormone-driven uh, breast cancer. They need a lot of flax seeds in that because it's been shown to balance the hormones. What is the main reason why there's so much increase in cancer? Well, William Fisher, who was the author of the book, How to Fight Cancer and Win, he estimated that about one in 30 people got cancer over the past century, and most of them are quite old. But now, cancer is like one in three, or even sometimes one in two, are developing cancer. Why this dramatic increase over the last century? Well, toxins seem to be the main cause. We have an incredible amount of more toxic chemicals in our environment today than ever before. So we encourage all our Budwig uh, cancer patients to be very careful to get the toxins out of their life. Now, toxins come from many sources. We have chemical toxins in our water, so you need a good water filter system. The modern agricultural methods are putting a lot of chemicals as well, spraying our food with pesticides, insecticides, and fungicides. So we need to wash our fruit and vegetables very carefully before consuming them. We need to go organic as much as possible. Also processed foods. We got to get the processed foods out of our diet because they're loaded with all kinds of toxins to make them you know, last longer on the shelf or taste better, look better. So we encourage you know, live foods. At the same time, if you have any of these black amalgam fillings in your mouth, amalgam fillings are loaded with mercury. So we want to change those. Unfortunately, right near the Budwig Center, we have a biological dentist that we can send our patients to. And finally, we have to be careful with beauty products and home care products. These uh, cleaning products are loaded with dangerous chemicals. So these are some of the sources of all the toxins in our life today.
plastics, we've got to be so careful with plastics. They have this gender-bending BPA chemicals in them that has been linked to various types of cancer, especially prostate and breast cancer. We encourage all our patients to try to use glass, copper, high quality stainless steel, cast iron and so on in food preparation and storage. And something about plastics, the thinner the plastic, the more dangerous it is. This cling wrap that people often you know, wrap their foods in, their sandwiches and so on in, these are putting dangerous gender bending BPA chemicals into their bodies and messing up the hormones. Now we encourage our patients to use different types of cleaning products, not the toxic ones that are sold in most grocery stores and so on. We encourage them to use like baking soda, lemon juice and vinegar. Those are the main things you can clean your house with and many different products. Also you should really use organic natural soaps and shampoos because these will not you know, flood your body and overpower your body with all these chemicals and toxins day after day. And women, when it comes to makeup, look for the natural ones, the organic ones, and get away from the chemical ones. At the same time, you can clean all your fruit and vegetable with one part apple cider vinegar, just spray it over the fruit and veg, let it sit there two or three minutes, and then rinse it with pure water, and that'll get rid of a lot of pesticides and so on. But always try to use organic fruit and vegetable as much as possible, as they have much less pesticides and herbicides and chemicals. Now, another very important thing in the Budwig protocol is the diet. And the first thing we have our cancer patients do is to get all that processed junk food, as we call it, out of their diet. You know, junk food is loaded with bad white refined sugar, white refined sugar. It's like cancer. It's like fertilizer to cancer. Also, the refined oils that we've already talked about that are very dangerous. And these processed foods are dead foods. They don't have any life in them. They can stay on the shelf for months and months. So we've got to switch these, get them out of our diet, uh, even commercial ice cream. Commercial ice cream, when I was a little boy, my mom would take the ice cream out of the deep freeze and it was solid like a rock of ice. And she had to wait like a half an hour before she could serve us. Now you take ice cream out of the deep freeze, you can serve it instantly. Why has that changed? Well, sad to say they're adding chemicals like dithylglycol, which is the same thing you put in antifreeze to keep your car radiator from freezing into the commercial ice cream. So we have people switch to the Budwig ice cream. We also have them eat live foods like salads and greens and all kinds of nuts and cereals and legumes and beans. These are real, live, unprocessed foods that are part of the Budwig protocol. Now, another big problem with cancer, uh, one of the causes, is parasites. And when we test our patients at the Budwig Center with our Vega testing system, we inevitably find parasites. And there's over a thousand different types of parasites, and 90% of the population have them. So we start off with a 60-day parasite cleanse. It has about nine different herbal combinations. And these herbal products, they get rid of the adults, the babies, and the eggs. This is very important in the Budwig program. Also, another important thing is exercise. One of the best exercises that also cleanses the lymphatic system is a mini trampoline. So we encourage all our patients to buy one in all the rooms at the Budwig Center. We put in a little mini trampoline or rebounder as it's called. And our lymphatic system has no pump and yet it's our rubbish disposal system. So to pump out the toxins, uh, we encourage our patients to use the mini trampoline. And another very important thing for women is the type of bra they're using. The standard bra digs into the lymphatic system and actually blocks it from working properly. So we encourage them to switch to a sport type bra instead. Now, in speaking about toxins and so on, we must not forget there's also emotional toxins. And we use, for example, just one thing at the Budwig Center that's very useful and very practical is the Evox system. And this system helps, it's called uh, perception reframing. In other words, the biofeedback process helps the person get an emotional release from certain stored stress and trauma 
from negative emotional experiences. And uh, the Center for Disease Control said that up to 85% of diseases have a link to emotional trauma. So it's very important to get rid of this emotional toxicity as well. Now some of the Budwig approved therapies are, for example, spinal alignment. We find it's very important to make sure the spinal column is well aligned because every part of your body is represented in the spinal column. And just imagine a garden hose when it's cramped, the water can't flow. So if you have a disc that's a bit out or your spinal column's misaligned, the energy can't flow to all the organs of the body. So we do spinal alignment at the Budwig Center. Also we do uh, infrared sauna. Now the infrared sauna is superior to the steam sauna because studies have shown that more toxins are released from the body using an infrared sauna. In addition, we uh, find that another very effective therapy at the Budwig Center is the BioLife Pyramid. Now it might sound strange that we're using a type of pyramid in a health center, but it's interesting that the Egyptians, the Aztecs and the Mayas, they discovered that this um, geometrical form of the pyramid actually creates a lot of energy from the magnetic and gravity of the earth. It's all like focused and it activates a healing effect on the body. And uh, we're getting very good reports on that. So uh, we uh, also find that the pyramid protects your body from the harmful electrical pollution that's around us, especially in our homes today. Some additional therapies used at the Budwig Center, which is very important, is the GSR Vega testing system. Everyone who comes to our clinic, we don't just give them a bag of remedies and, or just put them all through the, the same therapies. We have found that you need to personalize the program. So we do a major test on everyone from head to toe. We check all the major organs, the teeth, the hormones, the uh, parasites, as we mentioned, viruses, harmful bacteria. Then after we complete this test, we know exactly which remedies and therapies would work best for them. In addition, we do local and whole body hyperthermia. We raise the temperature near the area of the tumor, the affected area, up to 43 degrees Celsius. Cancer does not like heat, so this weakens the cancer cells, enables the body to heal faster. We also do what's called the matrix regeneration therapy. This is German technology. It helps the body to access uh, the uh, energy of the body, it detoxes the body, and it stimulates the body's natural healing ability. We have a kinesiologist, and uh, she does a complete emotional therapy using kinesiology to balance the meridians. We also do EFT, or now which normally is called tapping, which is very effective in helping to, again, neutralize negative emotional trauma that people have had in their lives. We encourage sunbathing because Dr. Budwig was a big fan of the sun. 20 minutes a day, 10 minutes on the front, 10 minutes on the back. And she said that the sicker you are, the more you need to be outside, not necessarily in the direct sunlight all the time, but just outside, there's something healing about being outdoors. We also have other therapies like the multi-oscillator. This raises the cellular energy of the bodies because the uh, cells that are sick or diseased, like cancer cells, they're spinning or turning at a much lower speed. So we have to raise these up to heal these cells if they are able to be healed, and if not, well then they'll be, naturally they will die a natural death and leave the body like they should. So those are just some of the therapies that we use at the Budwig Center. Now to conclude, I'd like to talk about some of the Budwig approved remedies in the program. You know, Dr. Joanna Budwig discouraged the use of vitamin and mineral supplements. She discouraged the use of any artificial oxygen in her therapies. But what she did really approve of was, of course, homeopathy and herbal remedies. So we use a lot of those in our clinic. We have some that uh, come, for example, from plants mostly, that, uh, like the Opicilla rose, you might have heard of that. It's actually nicknamed the cancer bush where it comes from. We use aloe vera. Not, not just any aloe vera, we use the aloe vera arborensis miller, the one that has the yellow flower, because that's the only one that's medicinal. We also use another product called Highlandia blushberry, and we've had very good results with that in helping to reduce tumors. So when you eat the flaxstone cottage cheese twice a day, take these homeopathy and herbal and plant-based remedies, 
we find we're getting very good results by this multifaceted approach. Also, we use a lot of essential oils, uh, magnolia oil, artemisia oil, frankincense and myrrh. These are very powerful uh, essential oils. And essential oils carry the highest frequency of anything known to man on planet Earth. So this is very important in uh, treating cancer. Also, we use a lot of mushroom extracts, probiotics, and we use sporebiotics, which are much more superior to the standard probiotics. So we have a really good choice of a lot of effective natural remedies at the Budwig Center. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this short video presentation on the Budwig Protocol today. There's much more that you can find out by downloading our free guide on the Budwig webpage and it'll answer many more questions that you have and give you a much more complete understanding of how we work at the Budwig Center. Thank you very much for watching and we look forward to helping you on your cancer healing journey.